Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatly Tones, Beatles channel, lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a sealed to revealed unboxing video of this absolute beast, which actually is an absolute beauty. Uh, the Beatles Stereo Remastered LP box set, which I picked up uh, just over a week ago um, on an online auction, not eBay, uh, but it was a, a, an online auction from a, a, an auction house. And um, if you saw the video that I posted last week, you'll know the drama, the story of, you know, how the drama unfolded uh, of, of actually winning the, the thing and how much I paid for it. Um, and if, you, if you're fresh to the channel and you haven't seen that video and you want to go back and watch that, please, please do. Um, but I think that I got it for an absolute uh, bargain price. And um, the reason why I think that I got, I got it as a bargain price is because the description on the auction website for this item was, it just, this, it literally just said this, yes, all the records are here and they're in very good condition. Now, although this wasn't an eBay auction, if you've ever bought a secondhand record from eBay, you'll know the, the description of very good condition is not brilliant condition. It means that there's no sort of physical scratches or jumps on the record, but it is a used item and you'll probably have like hairline scratches on the album and maybe a bit of surface noise. But when I actually got this home and opened it up, um, all the records and the book were all sealed, uh, which was a, a wonderful surprise. And um, when I uh, when I did the video, I asked uh, people to comment whether I should um, open the records or keep them sealed because I, you know, I've already got all of these these records uh, which I bought individually um, some time ago. And uh, the reason why I didn't buy this when it came out is because, you know, I wasn't back into vinyl in 2012 when this came out. And I, so I, I missed out. I already had the CD uh, box set of this and thought, oh, I don't need it. And of course, once I got back into vinyl, I've been looking for one of these at a decent price um, ever since. And now, thankfully, I have found it. So basically, I asked uh, people in the comments, should I open it or shouldn't I? And you know, it was a it was a mixed reaction, but there was there was never any question um, that I wasn't going to open it because that's it's not me. I always I don't keep anything sealed. I open everything. Um, the reason I asked the question because I just wanted to know uh, where where it where that question lied with everyone that you know commented down in the comments, and I'd say it was. Um, it was probably slightly in, fa in favour of opening it up, but there were a lot of people that said, no, keep it sealed, you'll regret it if you open it. And, um, you know, lots of lots of things like that, you know, pl please, please, please keep it sealed, <laughs> don't, o don't open it. But I say, it, that's just not me, it's not what I do. I don't keep records sealed. And the reason that I don't keep records sealed is because I don't ever sell anything. I, don't, I won't be selling this on. So although I know by opening, uh, all these records, I'm going to knock a few hundred quid off the value of this uh, this box set, but I don't care. I don't care because I'm not going to sell it. The worst case scenario is that my kids are going <laughs> to, when they inherit all my stuff, they're going to get less money for this than uh, you, you know than they could have done if I hadn't bothered to open it. So that's not too bad a scenario. And obviously, if you you know if you're if you're buying stuff. Uh, and you're never going to sell it, then on the open market, it's worth absolutely nothing at the moment. Because if it's not for sale, it's not worth anything. It's just what it's worth to me. And I, you know, I don't ever consider records to be sort of museum pieces or stuff like that that we just keep uh, keep sealed and gathering dust on on a shelf. I absolutely understand why people want to do that, and I'm not knocking knocking that. I'm just saying, you know. Everything about record collecting is to do with the individual. And for me, um, you know, keeping them sealed is not for me. I want to open them, I want to play them, I want to enjoy them, and, uh, you know, I want to touch them and feel them and look at them. So, so that is why I am opening it. But I appreciate everybody that, 
you know that 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 said you know don't open it you know you'll re you'll regret it but thanks very much for that and um, but you know as i say it's just not me so i am gonna open it now what i'm gonna say uh here by, by the way if you're if you're doing this in the reverse to me and you 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 bought this box set and, and and maybe you're looking for a reason uh to buy these albums individually as well which i think is really really unlikely but you might be thinking that you know what would be the point the only point would be um is if you're a hype sticker fan because you know the the records if you buy them individually you get a hype sticker uh with each of these albums which you don't get um with the, the box set because it comes in a slip case and really the slip case um i'll try and lift it up is really a great big hype sticker um funny enough, mrs beatley tone uh, mentioned hype stickers the other day but she called them hype labels but i let it go i let it go so if you're into your your hype stickers you might want to buy them buy them separately if you've got this already but you probably won't so um before we carry on, I just wanted to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers uh, who have subscribed uh, recently. Thanks very much for uh, supporting the channel by subscribing. There has been quite a lot of you over the last week or two. So welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content here. And if you feel like getting involved with the videos, please do. So, okay, that's that. So let's just sort of get on with it. Um, I'll just show you the... Uh, the outside of the box. So this is the, the kind of the slip case that it comes in. It's kind of got that on both sides. And uh, as I just showed you, um, it's got all the uh, the information about the contents on the back. So that's the kind of hype sticker, if you like, in a great big form. And I've noticed that when I got it, when I showed it in the video the other day, that the, the slip case was very uh, tight. The more you take it off and take it on, <laughs> put it on, it comes off quite easily. That looks good, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Okay, right, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm just gonna let you have a little look inside. Now, the book was sealed um, when I got it. Um, it was in the shrink. That's what it looks like when you open it up. There is also, you know, the little bits of, you know, little bits of foam and these things that nobody ever knows what to do with. Um, that was in it as well. So it was, you know, as new. Now, the reason why the, the book is no longer sealed is because this, well, this is how this video is going to pan out. I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, un unseal all the albums. I'll show you the, the, the sleeves, the records. We'll do that in chronological order. About halfway through, say, when we get to Revolver, um, we'll break it up a little bit and I'll give you a little flavour of the book now i've already the reason why it's open already because i've already done the video for the uh, the book and i'll show you uh, a few pages of that but i when i when i made the video i i, I video the whole the whole the whole book 252 pages is the whole book obviously when this video is going to be quite long anyway because you know there's 13 albums plus past masters to open up so it's going to be fairly long anyway and to do that have that whole book in this video as well would make it mammoth length so um, i'm not going to include uh, the whole book but i will give you a little flavor in the middle of the video now i've bought myself a craft knife i've never owned one of these before but i felt that this box needed a craft knife uh so i've got one like uh, all the proper youtube channels have that open things with a little slit down the side so i'm going to be doing doing that i've never owned one of these before this and this has never been used it is a virgin uh craft knife normally when i break the seal i usually do it with my nails or sometimes i bite bite it i thought that would probably look a little bit unseemly in a video as if i was eating the albums okay now the other thing that i'm going to do in this video and i'm going to do it at the end of the video is i'm going to be talking about scammers and this box set um so i don't think it's going to affect anyone uh, on here but i thought i would mention it anyway okay should we get on with this sort of sealed to uh revealed business i don't know about you lot but i'm pretty excited about getting this open i'm obviously going to be seeing these 
for the first time uh, at the same time as you are. So that is quite exciting. So I'm just going to take the book out because it's very tight inside that box and I want to get to the, be able to get to the albums. Okay, that is the book. I don't know if you can see that swirly pattern on the book. It's very nice. And that's the back of the book. Uh, as I say, you'll be seeing more of the book in the middle of the video. So where should we start? Please, please me. There it is. Okay, so take the virgin craft knife. You're about to lose your virginity. I've never done this before. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Okay, so the shrink is coming off. Look away, all you people that said, don't, don't open the shrink. Don't, don't get it out of the shrink. It's off. It's off. It's really easy. It's really <laughs> therapeutic. Okay, please, please, me. Trying to get in the, the glare. The back. Now, obviously, the stereo ones don't have the uh, the flip backs like the uh, the mono ones do. Polyline sleeve. And here is the record. Isn't that gorgeous? So please, please me. That was easy. Okay, I'll stick that in the back of the box now. With the Beatles. Sealed. With the Beatles. That lovely sleeve. Sorry about the glare there. That's the inner. There's something about a nice shiny new record, isn't there? Okay. So that's with the Beatles. I hope everyone, um, I hope all the Keep It In The Shrink people are, are doing okay and not covering their eyes and thinking, what is he doing? What is he doing? Absolute idiot. Here is uh, Hard Day's Night. This one, this one's a bit tricky. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Okay, that one was easier going from the uh, from the bottom. Hard day tonight. Beautiful. I might edit this so you don't have to keep watching me putting records back into the sleeves, which are not nearly as much fun as taking them out of the sleeves. Oh, yeah, that goes in the back. Beatles for sale. This one always causes a, lip, causes a little bit of a, a dilemma with um, people that keep their records in the shrink. Because sometimes there's a, there's a bit of a halfway house, isn't there, where you, 
you kind of slit it down the side, um, but you can still so you can still take the record out. But with Beatles with Sour, it's because it's a gatefold. You, if you if you just like you know just take the record out of the side there, you can't see the gatefold. So off it comes. One of my favourite sleeves. I can't remember where this came in my sleeve ranking video, but it was quite near the top. Uh, that was a little crisp noise of that as that opened up the gatefold. And we all know what it looks like. Okay, help from doing and that's showing the spine so let's correct that now so let's help should we do the others while we're here it was for sale hard day's night with the Beatles Please, please me. Right, we're up to date. We're up to date. I'm just going to put those on the on the side there. Rubber sole. See, that's the problem with records in the string. They're very glary, aren't they? When you show them. Okay. That's a nice, easy one to get open. laminated record sleeve. Side one and side two. Okay, it's rubber sole. Revolver, and we'll do this one, and then we'll have a little break for uh, the book. I can't remember if I said at the top of the video that the that I had I have made a, a video for the whole of the book. So that's all two hundred and fifty-two pages, and. Um, if you want to see a video of the whole book, so you see every single page, uh, do let me know down in the comments, and I will post that um, soon. So I've already, I've already made the made the video as the whole thing, and what you'll be seeing in a minute is just sort of extracts from that. So that's revolver. Beautiful sleeve. 
course, fantastic album. There you go. So that's Revolver. So despite uh, being completely useless and forgetting to show you the spines of the first five albums and then going back and correcting that, I forgot to show you the last two. So that is Rubber Soul and uh, that is Revolver. Okay, so should we go and have a look at the book? So as I say, I've made a video of the whole 252 pages that video is 16 minutes long so if you do want to see that uh, do let me know down in the comments but this is just like just an extract of it to give you a flavor of it and i've set the camera up so we're kind of looking down on it so you might want to expand your uh, video to full screen uh, to get a, a really good look at it the contents and it starts off with uh, an introduction by Kevin Howlett. Now, these pictures uh, are just of the most highest quality. They are so glossy, it almost looks as if they're printed on uh, photo paper. It's the essay. And obviously we start off with Please Please Me. Some great alternative shots of that uh, Angus McBean uh, cover shot. And it's just superbly, uh, superbly laid out. I mean, just look at this, the quality of this picture is just incredible. It is, it looks like photo paper. Absolutely stunning. Standing by a parking meter, that's where I caught a glimpse of Rita. That's what he was talking about. That is a London parking meter in the 60s with, uh, with John's glasses on it. And this is just fantastic. When we get onto with the Beatles, this kind of silver and black uh, imaging is just absolutely gorgeous and this is something that um, they continue throughout uh, this book very famous shot there shot that they used for the uh, live at the BBC album and of course this was uh, created as an actual uh, statue which you can find uh, in Liverpool the cavern And on to Hard Day's Night, still sort of keeping that black and silver sort of theme. But I'm not sure whether, whether the quality of these photos is coming over on the camera, but it is literally stunning. In Studio Two. George Martin doing a bit of air guitar there. On to Beatles for sale. And all the way through this book, you've got text uh, about, about the album. A famous shot from the uh, Washington Coliseum, 1964, that we see on the inside of the gatefold on uh, Beatles for sale. The Hyde Park shots from the back of the sleeve. And then we move on to help. And this sort of black and silver style carries on this shot, obviously on location in Austria. And we recognize this from the beginning of the film. So we're going to sepia here. Now we're in the Bahamas. And 
and now on Salisbury Plain to rubber sole. A fantastic shot of John there. Definitely their coolest period style wise. Back cover shots there. And on to revolver. Revolver sleeve in negative. And we've got the, uh, the ones from the actual sleeve here on the four corners there. Or with his glasses on, or maybe with John's glasses on. And the paperback writer, main videos. And on to Sergeant Pepper. You see close up how ugly that doll is. And on to Magical Mystery Tour. And on to the White Album. Paul's Conservatory at Cavendish Avenue. Mad Day Out. Some alternate shots of the, uh, the four portraits that were inside the, uh, the White Album sleeve. Cross Station in London. Oh, they thought they were so funny posing with a please keep off the grass sign. Hilarious. Album poster and on to Yellow Submarine. Hey Bulldog Sessions. And on to Abbey Road. And the, uh, the photos, the final photo shoot round at John's place. Used for the, uh, the US Hey Jude album sleeve. Fabulous stuff. And some of the other shots of the uh, the zebra crossing crossing posing with John's Rolls Royce in the background there, and in the grounds of Titnurse Park there, and there, and on to Let It Be finally. In the, uh, we've seen so many shots from these sessions in the Get Back book that there's probably not anything new here. But just, I, I can't, I can't emphasise enough the quality of these photos. I hope you can see just how sort of glossy that is. On the rooftop. And that is pretty much it. Um, you then get uh, a chapter on creating the, the remasters, the stereo remasters, 
how they did it and the cutting of the vinyl road and that is the book okay let's get on with the rest of them okay so sergeant pepper is obviously the next one to come out of the shrink I need to make two insertions on this one okay so let's get it off I have to say the lamination on uh, these sleeves is absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, there is the gatefold. Beautiful. Here is the record. And of course, um, Sergeant Pepper does have the uh, the cardboard cutouts in there. Always really useful if you ever need to find a cardboard moustache at short notice. You know exactly where to go. Oh, it still didn't show the spine. There you go. Sergeant Pepper. And of course, also included in Sergeant Pepper is the uh, the hippie trippy uh, inner sleeve. On to uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Another gatefold, so that's two two slits needed. These do look stunning. And the gatefold with the lyrics. And um, the book on these comes, uh, comes separate. I'm not gonna show you every page of the book. You know what it looks like. Um, my original copy of uh, Magical Mystery Tours actually got the, the the book sort of stapled in it on later versions. They now seem to be, um, you know, separately inside the sleeve rather than attached. Uh, this one on the Rainbow Capital label, as you would expect. And uh, side two. Absolutely gorgeous, love that label. Okay, let's put that to one side, just put it back into the uh, polyline sleeve. Okay, we're on to the White Album. My favorite album. I'll show it in the shrink there. No numbers on these, just the um, the embossed the Beatles. So again, we need two two slits for this. Okay, it's off. It's off. Right album. I don't know if you can even see the Beatles on that. Oh, there it is. There it is. You got it. The gatefold. So on one side we've got uh, the album, side one and side two. Here are the portraits Ringo, John. Paul and George. Let's pop 
those back in. Here's the record in a black polyline as you would expect and on the Apple label. Beautiful. Okay, it's uh, record one. The other side has got the poster, uh, which I know you don't need me to open. And uh, side three. And uh, side four. So that's the white album. Can we actually see anything written on the spine? Not even sure we can. There it is. Very faint, but it's there. Okay, that's the white album. Okay, yellow submarine is next. Fantastic sleeve. Is this one open. You know, I have to say, taking these out of the shrink, I mean, the, the, the albums look completely different when they're out of the shrink. They are absolutely stunning, these sleeves. Um, you, I don't think you really get the benefit of that um, with the shrink on. Little insert there. This is the... Uh, in a sleeve but you do get a, a polylined version as well side one and side two we're getting close now we're getting close it's nearly all over it's nearly all over and uh, on to Abbey Road. So it looks with the shrink. I'm not sure my knife's as sharp as it should be, you know. Seems to be a bit of a struggle. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? black polyline sleeve side one and side two obviously all these albums are 180 gram very very heavy and very lovely okay couple more to go let it be keeping the shrink on people doing are you okay I'm looking at you Julia Hartley Barnes B white polyline sleeve this time and side two
Okay, we're almost there. We've got one more to do, and it's a double album. The uh, Past Masters in stereo. Terrible sleeve, but fantastic album. Two slips needed for that. Okay, here it is. Sealed to revealed. And the gatefold. Very, very nice. We have the uh, the sleeve notes here as a separate as a separate thing. And um, side one and two on the parlophone label. There it is. And um, down there for now. Side three and four on the apple. Oh. Yeah. Side three and side four. And you know what? I haven't shown any spines, have I, for the last few records? So there is uh, Past Masters. There is Let It Be. There is Abbey Road. There is Yellow Submarine. And I think I missed Magical Mystery Tour as well. Uh, so there it is. Magical Mystery Tour. That is it. So the whole box now is all open. I've got this great big pile of uh, shrink, which is going to go in the bin. I'm sorry if, having watched this video, uh, loads of people that like to keep the shrink in are going to have to go into therapy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But that is it. The whole box sealed to revealed. Now, obviously, when I'm showing uh, these these records, making the video and unwrapping, you know, I haven't got really time to really look at them uh, properly, but I am going to be, you know, you don't want to see me getting all doughy-eyed over these albums and spending a lot of time like looking, looking at them. Um, but I will be spending quite a lot of time um, with this box set. Uh, definitely playing all, all the records and really looking forward to that um, but you know obviously to get through the video quickly I've just got to you know just show it and move on to the next one now sometimes when youtubers show products like this uh, on uh, their videos you know that will inspire um, viewers to go out and and find you know find one of these and uh, you know that happened uh, on th this channel the other day a uh, um, good friend and subscriber Julia she messaged me and said after seeing the video of me talking about getting it in the auction she went out and looked for it and found one on eBay and bought it and she said I hope I haven't bought a counterfeit one now I don't think that there are any counterfeit uh, box sets of of this I know that there are counterfeit uh, the CD box set has been counterfeited quite a lot, but I don't think that the LP one has, or certainly I haven't come across that. But what I have come across, uh, I just wanted to make you aware, if this is inspiring you to go out and try and find one for yourself, that there are there are scams on Facebook and other social media platforms, no doubt, probably Insta as well. Um, where companies are claiming to sell this box set for 
$59, which of course is complete nonsense. You're not going to find this for $59. What happened? It's not even a, like a counterfeit um, box set. You, you know, you send your money and you get absolutely nothing in return. So they're just collecting money from people. Now, I don't expect any of the people that watch my videos to fall for a scam like that. I know that most of you, or almost all of you, are, you know, sensible, intelligent people. I can tell that from the comments. I mean, there are a couple that are as mad as a lorry full of monkeys, uh, but most of you are not going to um, fall for this. But I, I just wanted to draw it to everyone's attention. So I'm just going to show this video, which I've captured from uh, Facebook, and where they've just basically t found uh, an, a YouTuber that is unboxing this probably back in 2012 um, and used his video uh, as if they just bought this product from, from the company. And they're, they're, they're saying, you know, that it's $59, you must buy it today. If you don't, but you know, it's a limited edition. And if you don't buy it, you're gonna have to wait a whole year like Apple are printing these like every year. Uh, so obviously, it is nonsense so I'm just going to show you uh, an example of of this just so you are aware So the company doing this particular scam is called uh, a Prime Factory, but there are lots of others, and you'll probably see different price points as well, but still ridiculously low, maybe, you know, $79 or 50, you know, $69 or whatever. Um, you, you know, you're, I know that you're not going to fall for it. And, you know, one, one good thing about this is if you do come across any of these uh, scam ads on Facebook, do go and read the comments because you know Beatles fans are not stupid, and uh, there's there's lots of really amusing comments. I've just picked out a couple on this this particular one. Um, there's a couple that come from an, our Antipodean friends, and uh, they are quite funny. Um, there's this one saying uh, asking. Are they available in 76 RPM, the New Zealand standard, and a prime factory say, yes, <laughs> of course, of course. And there was another one, which isn't in the screenshot, where someone asked whether they play in reverse for people in the Southern Hemisphere. So that's the kind of thing. So if you do come across these uh, these things on Facebook, uh, I know you're not going to uh, not f fall for the scam, but don't miss out on reading the comments because they're usually quite funny. What is not funny is, for, well, for that YouTuber, the guy who's uh, doing the unboxing video that's being used uh, to, by these companies to scam Beatles fans. If, you know, one of these companies use one of my videos uh, for that sort of caper, I'd be right royally pissed off about it. Um, okay, well, that is it. Um, if you want to tell me anything uh, about this box set, please do so down in the comments. Or if you want to, uh, you know, say anything about this video, do so as well. You know, I read all your comments. I will respond to all your comments, but you might not get such an instant uh, response from me on this video uh, because I'm going on holiday uh, tomorrow. I will try and respond to everyone, uh, but I will definitely respond uh, at some point. Uh, during the week it just might not be as quick as usual but do tell me uh, what you want to tell me down in the comments okay that is it from me uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching it's been a really long video so if you have got to this stage um, thank you very much for watching it all the way through right I'll see you all very soon bye bye